Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a fun puzzle that's been spreading around the internet. I wanted to make a video to present the correct answer. I also wanted to show another interpretation if you pay very careful attention to all of the details in the puzzle. I believe there is a real answer to this puzzle that involves higher level and complicated mathematics. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this system of equations? We'll start out by solving each equation in turn. The first equation has three red balloons equal to 30. Since 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30, we can solve that a single red balloon is equal to 10. We'll use this value to solve the second equation. We have a red balloon plus a pair of green balloons plus a pair of green balloons is equal to 18. The red balloon is equal to 10, and then we have two of the pairs of green balloons, and this all equals 18. We can then solve that a pair of green balloons is equal to 4. We then have a pair of green balloons minus a pair of blue balloons equal to 2. Since the pair of green balloons is 4, we can then solve that the pair of blue balloons has to be equal to 2. So now we need to evaluate a single blue balloon plus a single red balloon multiplied by a single green balloon. How can we do that? Well, if this puzzle is about counting balloons, which is a reasonable assumption, then we can take the single value to be half of the pair. So a single green balloon will be equal to half of 4, which is 2, and a single blue balloon will be equal to 1. We then substitute in these values. We have 1 plus 10 multiplied by 2. This also presents a landmine for some people. You have to remember to do 10 times 2, which equals 20, first because of the order of operations. So we have 1 plus 20, and that equals 21. Now this is the most commonly accepted answer to this puzzle, but I think the real answer should encapsulate all of the visual details. So here are some key details I think we should consider. If you look at the pair of green balloons and the pair of blue balloons, the green and blue pair balloons are facing different directions. Also, for all of the balloons, the arrows on the balloons are used for the strings. So these arrows bring to mind Knut's up arrow notation, which suggests that we should be considering exponentiation and tetration. And before I explain how that changes the answer, I want to say, don't tell me that this is overthinking the puzzle. They keep saying that you need to be a genius to solve these puzzles, so I don't think it's beyond the realm of these puzzles to use higher level mathematics. So how does this affect the final answer? We'll first consider the pair of green balloons. If we let a single green balloon be represented by the variable x, this translates into x left superscript of x is equal to 4. How do we interpret this notation? Well, a up arrow up arrow n is equal to a left superscript of n, which is equal to a power tower where we have a raised to the power of a raised to the power of a, a total of n minus 1 times. This translates into x raised to the power of x raised to the power of x where we have a power tower of x terms. So how do we solve this? Well, I don't know the general method for solving this kind of equation, but for this particular equation, we can make a lucky guess. Notice that two left superscript of two is equal to two to the power of two, which equals four. In other words, x equals two satisfies this equation. So we figured out that the value of a single green balloon is equal to 2. 
Now we did all this work and we ultimately ended up with exactly the same value for a single green balloon as before. So I think that's a fun coincidence. Now let's use this interpretation for the pair of blue balloons. If we let a single blue balloon be denoted by the variable y, this visual puzzle would translate into y to the power of y is equal to 2. How can we solve this equation? We'll use the Lambert w function, which is the inverse of the function x times e to the power of x. If x times e to the power of x is equal to z, we then have x is equal to w of z. We don't know its explicit form, but if we have something like x times e to the power of x, we can take its inverse to solve for x. So how does that help us solve the equation y to the power of y is equal to 2? Well, the first thing we'll do is we'll rewrite the equation. It can be rewritten as e to the power of ln y raised to the power of e to the power of ln y. This is because e to the power of ln y is equal to y. Now we'll use exponentiation rules to simplify this as e raised to the power of ln y times e raised to the power of ln y. We can now take the natural log of both sides so that we get the natural log of y times the quantity e to the power of ln y is equal to the natural log of 2. So now notice a pattern in this equation. If we let a be equal to the natural log of y, we have a times e to the power of a equal to the natural log of 2. So we can use the Lambert w function here to solve for a. We have that a is equal to w of the natural log of 2. Now we'll go back and substitute that a is equal to the natural log of y, and then we'll take e to the power of both sides. So we can solve that y is equal to e to the power of w of the natural log of 2, which is approximately 1.56. Note that I calculated this in Wolfram Alpha, so I calculated w of natural log of 2 as product log of the natural log of 2. So this means we have the value for a single blue balloon being equal to e to the power of w of the natural log of 2, which is approximately 1.56. So we now take this value for the single blue balloon, and we then need to evaluate a blue balloon plus a red balloon multiplied by a green balloon. So we substitute in our values and we get this is approximately equal to 21.56. And I believe this is the real answer to this puzzle. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos inspire and build confidence for people around the world and they've already accumulated over a hundred million views. I believe if society truly valued mathematics, we'd have millions of subscribers and billions of views. Please help this goal. You can subscribe for free to get the newest videos. Please watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos. That's one of the best ways for people to discover this channel. You can email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. You can also support this channel financially by checking out my books, which are great for gifts. They're linked in the video description and you can support on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.